Hello everyone and welcome to Tech Ninja, providing you tech videos with things like tips, tricks and reviews for both computer hardware and software, and not to mention all types of mobile devices. My name is JD and I like to cut through the heart of technology. Today we're going to review Microsoft's new 2016 Surface Book with Performance Base. Is Microsoft's new 2-in-1 the right laptop for you? Stay tuned. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and show you the Microsoft Service Book up close, all the ports and special features. So here you can see the magnesium shell, and then we're going to go ahead and start spinning it for you. And on the first little piece right here, of course you see the Service Pen, and then there's the uh, 5 megapixel webcam and the power and volume rockers. The front is magnetically closed so it doesn't open on you when you don't want it to. On this side over here you have the headphone jack, your display port, and your magnetic power input. And if I keep spinning here, you'll see the, the custom designed Microsoft Feral Hinge helps the laptop feel more like a notebook in your hand. And then of course we're back to the Surface Pen, put down the ground, put that down. And you have your two USB ports as well as your SD card reader. Here are the uh, specs for the Surface Book just in case you want to use them for reference. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and look at the Surface from the front. And this is going to kind of allow you to see the keyboard up close and of course the glass trackpad. And then this is what it looks like with the lights out with the uh, lit up keyboard. Again, notice that the uh, fu special function keys are lit. And the razor blade doesn't do that or razor blade stealth. Neither one of those light up the special function key. I'm going to go ahead and change the angle again so you can kind of see it from a better angle. All right, now uh, just kind of showing a little bit of the mouse and how the computer actually performs. Again, I really like the performance. The uh, trackpad is very smooth, very clean. The keyboard feels great. And so when you're typing a word, there's a good amount of response and feedback from the keys. They're also spaced a little bit farther apart than a couple other laptops I've had, so I like that. In the fact, that there's a little bit better spacing. I have a little bit bigger hands, I guess, so it's a little bit more comfortable for me. And just typing a quick thing in Word, the response is fine. And then the uh, glass pad, is again, is really nice. Okay, now with a little bit of web browsing, as you can see, scrolls very nicely. This is the base QI, the little uh, memory card reader adapter I put in my computer, and I'm going to put that in the comments below and also give you a quick screenshot of that. Here you go. All right, and so now, as you can see, it just kind of moves through through uh, Chrome, pretty clean, as well as the touchpad or the touchscreen itself, pinch to zoom, and features like that all work nicely, and. It's not something I use all the time, but I do like the fact that I can do the touch screen. I don't like fingerprints on my screen, but this one doesn't show up too bad. And all right, so those are the inputs that this computer has besides the uh, Surface Pen. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and look at the Surface Pen. So if I single click, it brings up my quick functions. And so here's your uh, little notepad. So uh, sticky notes can be put right on the screen. As you can see, you can draw right on it. And you see a little bit of bounce on the screen. I know the entire computer is actually in that, in the screen itself, the tablet portion. If I uh, single click and hold, now I get a screenshot, or sorry, double click, I get a screenshot. And again, I like the fact that I can write right on this. This kind of really makes things fun if you're going to uh, take quick notes for like a meeting or something. And uh, I also do web design as part of my schooling. And this is kind of fun because it kind of lets me remember because I got to fix. Uh, looking at the drawing program, this is the uh, sketchbook they give you, something I've been playing with. The one thing I found with the pen that I don't like is if you do a straight line really slow, it has a little bit of bounce to it. And I'm trying to show that to you right here. And it might not be important if you're kind of doing quick sketches, but if you're trying to do some detailed work, it kind of gets annoying. And then also if you look where the little line is right here, it's my finger bumping it. And it has pixel sense, so it's not supposed to do that as much as it does. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some research on that, see what I can find out. But it doesn't bother me too much because uh, I notice when I put my pen down before my finger, it doesn't happen too often. But when my finger touches before the pen, it does. It's just something to pay attention to if you're looking at buying this, <clears throat> and especially if you're an artist. And moving on, looking at this kind of special features. Of course, I think the Surface Pen is a special feature. The fact that it's magnetized to this to the computer itself. I also deem as a special feature. This is the Windows Hello camera, and so if I power it down really fast, and if you uh, when you power it back up, and so it looks the camera looks for you, sees your face, logs you right in. 
excellent little feature. It makes things quick. Uh, the backlit keyboard I really enjoy. I don't I don't type the best, so having a backlit keyboard when I'm working on homework or something in the dark, I like. USB features, of course, are great. My little uh, base QI. The uh, one thing I think they should have added was a USB-C. I think that would have been a good idea. And then, the course, extended battery life. Microsoft claims 16 hours. I get about 9 to 10 so far, but for me, that's good when I go off to work for the day. And when I come back, I'm still good to go here. <clears throat> to save battery life, of course, you can lower your brightness. I'm just kind of showing you the little connection right here so I can, I can adjust that kind of stuff. To not make you wait, I'm going to go ahead and speed this portion up, close everything out so you can see the, uh, the clipboard feature. Okay, now with all those closed out, I can detach it. It tells me, ready to detach. And so now it's in clipboard mode. And so as you can see, you have it. It's like a nice size sheet of paper almost. And so I went ahead and put it in tablet mode. But now I use your pen and then go right into Word. And one of my favorite things that I can do with this and it's not necessarily just this, but the fact is Word will now let you write right into Word documents. And I think um, that's one of my, my all-time favorite things that Word has implemented. And with the Surface Book, I can do. And just like with the screenshot, you can kind of take notes. Or if you're some kind of creative person, maybe you go ahead and do like a comic script or some form of uh, play or something. And you can go ahead and put little boxes and, and draw and make notes right as you're doing your script. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. I'm going to go ahead and fire up a movie so you can hear what it's going to sound like. Chance to hear the speakers. Okay, I use Star Wars because in honor of the Rogue One coming out tonight, and I'm a big Star Wars junkie, I thought it'd be kind of fun to go ahead and use Star Wars. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and flip this back around, and then we're going to go ahead and do some uh, game performance. Again, this isn't really a gaming laptop, but if you're anything like me and maybe just want to do a casual game or some of the older games, I have found it to be just fine for that kind of stuff, and so here you go. Alright, like I said, I'm not really into games, especially on my laptop. I do most of my gaming on my uh, Xbox One. But I do like to have an occasional game every now and then. And one of my all-time favorites is this Need for Speed Most Wanted. Quick little race here and there makes things a little easy. And so here you go. I'm going to let you uh, see it and hear it. I think the graphics are fine. And especially for what it's doing. It's not pushing this computer too hard. And it just gives me a break if I want to. And, and I can have some fun. Normally, I just hook up an Xbox controller, and I'll use it that way. But if you need to, of course, the arrow keys and everything works just fine, too. Let's hear a little bit of a gameplay. Now, I guess in honor of like esports and stuff or e games, there you go. Um, here's a, the new Unreal Tournament in beta. And I put this one in a 1080p, and so it looks quite, quite nice. It will play in the native resolution, but it's a little slow. And I'm just using the trackpad, so it's a little bit hard for me to uh, control. I didn't have my controller or mouse even hooked up right now. But as you can see, it does okay. Um, again, not the most demanding of games, but it's something quick and I can play a couple rounds and call it good. I'll let you have a little bit of view of some of this. Well, thank you for watching my re-review of the 2016 Microsoft Surface Book with Performance Based. For any questions, please add them in the comments below and I'll do my very best to answer all of them. Remember, I'm JD with Tech Ninja, providing you videos with tips, tricks, and reviews for both computer hardware and software, and not to mention all types of mobile devices. Uh, check us out next time as we're going to review the Microsoft Surface Dial and how it connects with the Microsoft Surface Book, much like it will connect with the Microsoft Surface Studio 
there's an update coming out for the Surface Book in 2017 that'll let this go right to the screen just like the Surface Studio. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, until next time, stay sharp, my friend.